you got to have something to check out to. And I check out to my family. I check out the fun. I check out to the beach. I check out to the gym. I check out because I know when I'm when I'm when I'm checked in, I'm going 110 all the time. So you got to have something to check out too. And media is a part of that. We need to start creating. I, I I like what Master P has done. Master P has taken a significant move in gaming, in developing games. And so not only does that keep create a revenue opportunity it creates an opportunity for us to move in and create things for ourselves the beautiful thing about when you start creating these these uh elements and components of media entertainment uh whether it's music whether it's video uh whether it's on-site reading and entertainment books whatever you control the narrative that's one thing that we haven't been able to do that's one thing that has been a problem is we don't control the narrative and when you don't control the narrative you tend to have to roll with who does and that's the problem we're always resisting the narrative but it's constantly being pushed on us and it has a psychological and mental impact so we need to be aware of this in all ways so what when, what I'm saying is when you see me and I'm, I'm going at a Roland Martin or I'm going at a Stephen A. Smith you know if you follow me for any time that me going directly at a black man is not my get down that's not how I flow uh, I keep my personal things with black men personal I go directly to them and I've always told you what the exception is when I see you have no intent to do right by my people I no longer consider you my brother so I can be at odds with my brother and we gonna keep our family business within the family that's how you protect the family. You keep your business within the family. There's a bunch of people that I've had some, some run-ins with that I didn't like something, and I either didn't say anything about it because it wasn't worth my energy, or I went directly to them. But what I did do is run around throwing up dust and dirt, trying to uh, scully their name because they may have some influences in places that I don't, and they may be beneficial to people I can't reach. And I just hurt those people by taking something personal. So that's not, when you see me go after somebody, I've totally written them off. I don't see how in the hell they are ever going to be a part of it. And what you will find is in the most part, when you start talking about black faces in media that have done well, we're talking about, um, you know, the go along, the get along crowd, the black bourgeoisie crowd, uh, that's where we're hanging our hats in the past. They have never been there for us in the sense of doing anything to benefit us. It has always been about benefiting them and their handlers. And in this case, most of their handlers are going to be uh, different elements and components of the wealthy elite. Uh, with Roland Martin, it's definitely the Democratic Party. Uh, with with, um, um, with Stephen A. Smith, it, it, it's the handlers and wealthy uh, elite power media. Uh, he, he can go all out and say almost anything he wants to when it comes to a black athlete. But in, in times where he tried to speak and, and come out in, in a way that actually we can look at and say, okay, I think he's speaking what we're thinking. They check him, put him in his place, give him a suspension, and he comes back and he makes an apology while he study tells us he don't give a damn. That is so common. And I mean, I saw something the other day that I really don't know how to take it, so I got to put some more in it because I'm not a fan of Jason Whitlock either, but I just saw Jason go in on Stephen A. Smith, uh, and I'm trying to figure out where it comes from now. Jason and I have philosophical differences. Um, some things that he's done I just don't agree with, and I've made my opinion about him, and I've said, said a few things. Maybe I have to revisit it. Maybe he's just being right that one time that everybody is right. I don't know, but he definitely doesn't like Stephen A. Smith. So, but anyway, what I want to get you at is, as a part of building, you've also got to fight. And one of the things you got to do is you got to defend your space. As you take a piece of that market, you got to defend it. Why? Because they're sending, their handlers are sending them back to fight. Their desperation to stay relevant is sending them back to fight. And they're attacking people on some of the most rudimentary uh, arguments you can make because there's really no true fight when you look deep down because history has shown us what we know when we talk about what we talk about. We're not talking about it from our emotions. We're not talking about it for some sense of uh, rusty-ass lo logic and loyalty. You know, I mean, okay, 
we've been loyal to Democrats. Democrats are quote unquote for the per person and the black person, but they ain't done jack for us. They haven't done jack for us in decades. And how long are we supposed to be loyal to those who aren't loyal to us solely based on they are better than them people over there? Well, they are just another version of those people over there. And they bring a whole lot of hurt with them because they support groups that are ripping us apart uh, by impeding upon and infringing upon things that we fought for. And so we need to be aware of who's bringing in the pain. And we need to talk about it. And see, they don't talk about those points when talking to us, but they are championing them in the background. Those are the things that we have to be aware of. Those are the things we have to speak on. So, look, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I just had to talk about that just for a second. So, it's not just grow, build, expand, share, and do what we do in black media. It's when they come up and they come against us, when they're speaking stuff we know not to be true, when they're speaking stuff that we know are harmful and may be still received by some of our people because they simply don't understand how things work. It's our responsibility to go to bat. It's our responsibility to step up. It's our responsibility to go in and do exactly what we need to do uh, to make uh, a difference. When they sit up and tell a lie, we need to expose the lie. It's that, it's, that, it's that simple It's time to call a spade a spade And and uh, it's, it's a lot of heat coming on this Charlemagne the, the God thing too I'm telling you now uh, We gotta protect our babies We gotta protect our women, our girls We gotta protect our kids, period And when I see stuff like this It really gets to, it, it, it really gets to me in a way And anybody that's followed me for any time knows This has been one of my passions From the moment I set foot Into this space and it will always be my passion. You know, I married a woman who had to go through that bull crap. And I know what it's taken for her to heal. So, yeah, this isn't something I'm just jumping on because it's hot now. I've been fighting this battle for a long time. And I got plenty of heat and smoke for anybody that want to support that BS. So, yeah, we, we're going to deal with that, too. Uh, but, yeah, so this is a fight. This is a war. We need you guys to back us. We, you, we need you guys to lift us up. We need you guys to show us some love and show us some support. We definitely, without question, need that. So I'm asking you guys to, to get, show us some love. On that note, I'm about to get out here. I done got back to the office, and we will talk uh, soon. I'm out. A little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative and restoring ghetto for ghettos forgotten daughters which is a program focused on helping young girls but boys as well suffering from childhood sexual abuse uh rape molestation domestic abuse uh absentee fatherhood and so many other things uh the information will be in the box thank you